Hi there, I'm Dan Graham from Gothic Instruments and I'm going to talk about the Drone Arm Master Edition presets, a bit of a walkthrough and a listen to what we've got. Um, one thing to mention is that there's about 2,000 of the, well there's more than 2,000 of the main presets that come with this, uh, which you can get to through this menu here. Um, there's nine different menus. Each one contains sub-menus where there's 12 actual sounds within each sub-menu. The numbers 1 to 8 represent the different modules that we've brought out so far. So it's these are the original presets that came with the eight modules. There's also um, menu number 0 which is uh, contains blends from all. So it's um, each preset is made up of sounds from the eight different modules. Um, so as well as these 2000 sounds that we've got um, <clears throat> in the main presets, there's also uh, an entire other layer of um, thousands more sounds which uh, are more like single sounds. So whereas every one of the main presets is like a multi sound that's made up of eight different sounds, the actual um, on the sounds page when you go on there, you could just, um, for example, mute the layers, you could fade to just the top one and then what you've got there is uh, a selection, another selection of uh, submenus and a set of sounds within each. So for example, just the strings, you've got, you know, a lot of different possibilities like, um, you know, different trills, uh, high hall trill. So. And then if I take live strings trill, what was that half? If I that was a half a note. If I if I if I put the one in the bottom layer as the whole note, you can you can switch between um, half note trills. Oh no, hang on, that's a low one. Uh, we need trill. Uh, Trill hull high. There we go. Is that the no? Yeah, that's right. And then so you can automate that if you wanted. So you you, you know you've instantly got um. A really good string sound there and it's absolutely full of brilliant strings that are all live recorded brilliant string players international standards um recording a beautiful studio very high you know best one in liverpool um so on this individual single la layer you can immediately hear these just thousands of sounds called lenio uh, which is where people um kind of tap on the strings using a the back of the bow Um, Ponticello Tremolo, HA stands for Hall, SM stands for Small, CL stands for Close Mic, CA stands for Cathedral, so this is to do with the, the spatial placement of these sounds. So, so that's uh, Ponticello, if I go to Ponticello Trem High Hall, and then I put a bit of a, um, a fade in and out on it. I'm now expressively playing it using the mod wheel, which fades up through the velocity layers. These sounds that I'm playing, remember I'm now just playing these single sound sources, so it's in the live strings module, um, and that's the Ponticello Tremolo. Ponticello Tremolo is where the, um, 
they play right on the bridge and it gives it a kind of a silvery sound. And I was there, I recorded these guys, I remember it well. Well, I don't remember the details, but you know, I remember the silvery bridge and that's all that matters in this world. Um, so pizzicato, you know, I've got like a close pizzicato. Um, oh, six staccato trills, ponticello, just sustained, just, so this is the whole sound of the sustained strings. So it's, it's great. It doesn't have, you know, this is, uh, it's like, it's got a lot of separate multi samples. So it's, it's fading up between sample layers uh, and it's the, the, the pitches are sampled at three note intervals. Um, so it's, it's got a relatively uh, decent degree of detail in the actual sampling. Um, it's obviously not the same as getting a purpose built sample, uh, string sample library. But just to get started, you want a nice expressive string sound. Well, you know, that's as good as, it's as good as a lot of products that you can buy, just to, just as basic string sound. Um, and that's, so that's just, that's just within one module and these are just the individual sounds. I could go to the guitar scapes rhythms. So these are like rhythmical loops. Um, so uh, the beginning there where it says AC, that's acoustic. Elec is electric. Hall is, uh, it's got a hall sound. So hall, electric, hall. And then pads have been kind of processed so that they sound more like pads. Um, so if I put, um, let's say, acoustic. Mute rhythm, so I'm just more or less choosing it random. Bit of reverb, take the reverb off so you can hear that as it is. If you go to the uh, rhythm page. You can see that what's happening here is that uh, this the rhythm is actually it was it's a real loop that was recorded, but the the rhythm editor kind of like breaks up the loop and reorganizes it. Um, spread means that it means that the notes are not exactly on top of each other, and humanize creates further randomness by by randomly changing the. Add accents. Um, I can make this a triplet. All right, so the, you, you've got all these. Um, uh, on its own, it's, it sounds a bit weak, maybe. So you, if, if you add delay to that, you can. So hopefully you're getting an idea there that I'm really zoning in on the individual sounds and it's, it's, you know, there's just so many of them. It's, it's just insane, you know, so, so that, and that's just one layer. And then what's really happening in every preset is, is that there's eight separate sounds all going on at the same time. Some are effects sounds, you know, there's high pitch sounds, low pitch sounds, and they all blend together into these complex atmospheres. So I've just been really going into these single presets which is just to say, don't forget them because that's, you know, that's where you can, you can get really great raw material. Um, so going back to the actual, uh, main presets, uh, from the hybrid edition, just going to the top, the alien menu. 
So now we're getting into this multi-world of like of this being made up of um, eight separate sounds. You can see them all there, little mutants, haunted machines. You can um, fade up and down between all the different sounds. So each of these individual sounds is actually just a, a springboard for expression where you can have a low intensity, a lot of intensity, you, you know, you, you can change it and you can, um, you, you know, you can assign all these main dials to a, to a MIDI controller and then really change what's there. So don't see the presets as these static things that you just go, oh, yeah, that sounds all right. It's much better to um, use it as an expressive um, springboard. Alien Dark Layer. Pretty cool. So these, these, all these alien, so-called alien sounds. Um, if I go to these sort of, uh, let's say, emotional strings on the str live strings module sounds. The dial just jumps then and it's because my MIDI controller must have just got knocked by something. That's one to watch. If you sort of accidentally knock your mod wheel then suddenly the intensity will disappear and you'll be like, I'm writing to customer support and giving them a piece of my mind. <laughs> I'm not saying that's ever happened but <clears throat> you know who you are. So these lovely string sounds. And if you think you know that's a bit too much high pitched stuff, then you just take the high down, turn the mid up. Yeah, that's some of the string sounds. Uh, there's an insane number of brilliant strings in there. Uh, so let's say Vintage Synth, that's got some really great stuff in there. Blades of Light. These uh, vintage synth sounds all came from the same classic 80s synth. And we're too frightened of Oberheim to, to say where we got those from. Lots of great pads. See what interesting um, effect type things we might have there. Uh, complex soulscapes. That sounds promising. Because it makes a big difference what you actually play, because if I play like two notes together... That's going to be more tense than if I just played a big major chord.
So you're hearing some nice pad sounds there. Um, there's so much on here, obviously, you know, where do you begin? But um, let's go for Vinko Borchik and his Mysterium texture. So that's... I can't remember what module we're on now. Mysterium texture. Um, cinematic atmospheres. Yeah. That's like an excellent sci-fi drone. This uh, cinematic atmospheres module particularly had loads of excellent effects sounds. So, you can hear there going right through it all. Pretty cool, eh? Wind. I can see that he's got the filter turned quite low on that. And if you went through some of the other sounds that make up the uh, cinematic atmospheres, Lot of reverb on there. Take that off. Burning sparks. That's definitely real sparks I'm hearing there. Excellent sound design by Alessandro Camnasio, who is a world class um, trailer music um, sound designer. Trailer sound designer. He's always having his stuff used in things. So you can hear, hear how. Just how much there is inside drone art, it's insane. Bit of a Stranger Things vibe there. And rather than just quickly going through presets, you might think, oh, that's uh, that'd be good with an arpeggio on it. So, I'm just making a delay, giving the delay some width. Press the thick button, which spreads it over uh, two octaves, that arpeggio, instead of one octave. Play loads of just um, a, ch a chromatic scale. Sorry, it's a whole note scale, not... And then some chromatic notes. So you can hear the flexibility, you know, uh, it's great the presets, but really try and see those as a starting point, you know, just the beginning of a, you know, get to know drone out and then you can really sort of get in there. There's so many. Where do you begin, you know? This is from the... You'd barely know it, but this is from the um, brass module. Where all the uh, pads have been made from brass sounds initially. This is a recent um, metal and glass module. It's 
evil Arlen. It's quite evil. If you've got any of our previous uh, drone our modules, you'll you'll know that on the old engine, um, it would take ten seconds for every preset to load. And with these snapshots, this you know you can see it's super fast. Dark synthesis. This was like more like digital synthesis, uh, coupled with a lot of interesting um, sound effects that were recorded live uh, in the environment. Things like stones being scraped and things like that. The effects layer is turned off on this one. You can hear that sort of uh, moving around a bit. It's because there's a pitch, uh, there's a bit of pitch L LFO. So if you could take that down, it's got a stable pitch. Let's see the effects layer, see what's going on up there. Ooh. Dark synthesis. That's rainy day. Crackle shivers. Blood screech, sounds good. But let's mix that with some uh, sounds from the live strings. Colenio Swarm, low, close mic. It's got a close mic, but loads of reverb. The width spreads them out left and right. Bring in the low. It's pretty cool, eh? Interesting, there's a lot of stuff going on there. Well, there's thousands of presets and I, I probably need to go into a coffin fit now. So I think now's a good time to say, <coughs> there you go. There's some sounds from Drone Out Master Edition. I just, I was choosing things more or less at random. So there's, there's clearly, you know, thousands more things to listen to. Once you get into all the expression on the interface and then you get into the fact that there's all, it's made up of all these individual sounds that you can choose. Um, it's huge in terms of what you can actually do with this thing. So uh, all I can say is, you know, get it. And then if you've already got it, it's time to spend a few thousand hours playing with it until you've made loads of your own sounds. Okay, that's all from me and goodbye.